The new IWC Engineer is finally here. It's 2023. We're at Watches and Wonders. So let's take a look. Okay, welcome back to the Chisholm Hunter channel. My name is Harrison and I know that I just I just introed that as we're at Watches and Wonders. And technically I was right, I was true, I was telling the truth, um, but we filmed the whole thing and there's just too much background noise and I didn't get to cover all the facts about this new engineer that I wanted to cover. So I thought I'd come back to the hotel, I'm in Geneva at the moment, and we'll talk a little bit further about this model. The history of the engineer stretches all the way back to 1976, where they released the Engineer X. L, the original engineer and the engineer was designed by legendary watch designer I, I, I talk about him far too much on this channel Gerald Genta he inspired the 70s modern design that is taking over the world at the moment Gerald Genta's legacy has lived on through the years since he passed sadly in 2011 and it's inspired so many watchmakers across the world and you can see his influence everywhere today I mean he designed the Patek Philippe Nautilus he he designed this engineer, he designed the AP Royal Oak. And if you look at the industry nowadays, you'll see his influence uh, coming through in a lot of areas. Let's look at the, let's take Tissot PRX for an example. They've been heavily inspired and influenced by his design. But let's talk about this engineer specifically. So it comes in three color variations at the moment. You have the white dial, which is absolutely beautiful. And I think that'll be a slow burner. I don't think it'll be the best seller, but I do think it'll come to be the best seller in a couple of years, just in my opinion. You have black and then you have aqua. The aqua is this greeny blue color that's taking over the industry at the moment and looks absolutely incredible on the wrist. Depending on the light you look at, uh, or you look at it, it's either blue or it's green and it's just absolutely stunning. Now there's a funny thing that happens when you push certain lines, certain hero products that have bright colours involved and I actually had a really good discussion with the North Face, they design outdoor clothing wear and basically what they said, and when I was doing a shoot for them I was doing their videography, they said that they promote their yellow puffer jacket but the best seller is their black puffer jacket. And what happens is people will click in the yellow because it's interesting, it's fun, it pops out and stands out against whatever subjects or background you might have, but they all go with the safe option of the black. And actually what IWC are doing is they're pushing their aqua, which is that green slash blue, which is quite unique and, it, and it's quite a standout piece, but what will happen is people will go for the white or the black, probably the black, um, because it's just that little bit too bold for them. Now, although the Aqua is awesome, I don't think it's going to be the best seller. Let's talk quickly about the specs of this model because I keep getting so distracted and going so, so off piece. So it comes in at 40 millimeters in diameter and comes in at 10.8 millimeters in thickness. Just perfect proportion perfect proportions, especially for my 6.5 inch wrist. This wears wonderfully. One mil too small, or one mil smaller, or one mil bigger, and it would be too small or too big. It's just absolutely bang on the money. It's incredible. The lug to lug comes in at 49 millimeters. It has a water resistance of 100 millimeters, and the case material and the bracelet material is stainless steel. The movement is the IWC Cal 32111. It has a power reserve of a whopping 120 hours. And remember, it's only 10.8 millimeters thick and it has a sapphire crystal glass. When we look at the case of this watch and also look at the face of this watch, we can see Gerald Genta's inspiration coming through. The face of this watch is beautifully textured and the date window is at three o'clock. Now, to be honest, I would rather either take away the date window or have it at six o'clock, but maybe we'll be lucky enough to see that in future iterations of this model. Also, I'd like to see maybe a rubber strap, an integrated rubber strap coming in, or or maybe even leather, no, probably not leather. But probably keep it rubber and bracelet. The bezel of this watch has been screwed down to the case in that classic Genta fashion. Think of the AP Royal Oak here. It's, it's the same kind of design apart from they're a little bit smaller and a little bit less a little bit less bold. Now the Engineer SL, the original Engineer SL, was actually discontinued in 1984 and very, very few of them were made. Maybe just over a thousand units. And if this line takes off, actually no, I know this line will take off because it's a Gerald Genta inspired line and it looks absolutely stunning. IWC's execution on this model is just delicious. That was such a weird 
weird word to use, but it is. I think those original lines, the SL collection, the, 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 the limited few that are remaining of them, are and will be collector's item. If you have one of them, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'd love to review it, but I would keep hold of it. The, these lines are rare, rare models. The bracelet on this model pretty much wraps around your wrist absolutely wonderfully and it tapers in really, really slightly. It has a butterfly clasp at the bottom. Everything about this screams, uh, listen, I've, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Everything about this screams Genta inspired and it screams incredible, timeless, and that's the key word here, timeless luxury watchmaking. When we think of the watches that Gerald Genta has designed, they are timeless. They came out in roughly the 70s and they're still very, um, popular today. Actually, they're probably the most popular watches on the market, so this is timeless. The case back on this watch is is closed. It's closed. Unfortunately, it's closed. I don't know why they, they closed the case back, um, and maybe in future iterations they'll bring that open case back to this model. But I would love to see, I would love to see into that movement. I'd love to see the design of that movement. That is only, that is the only, well, aside from the fact I'm broke and I have no money, that is probably the only thing that would withhold me at the moment from getting this model is the fact that it has a close case back. Um, and if they were to upgrade that, if they were to add that open case back, I would really consider this model. But I would love to know your guys' thoughts. Let me know what you think of this model in the comments. This is the Chisholm Hunter channel. My name is Harrison. I'm not going to say as always. Apparently, I got an Instagram message on the Chisholm Hunter Watches page saying <laughs> I'm not allowed to say my name's Harrison as always anymore. Apparently, people thought my name was genuinely <laughs> as always. So my name is just Harrison and that as always is going. The catchphrase <laughs> as always is going. I'll be back in a couple of days or actually no, I'll be filming today. Um, more watches from Watches and Wonders. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it here at the Chisholm Hunter channel and I'll see you soon.